Good morning. Episode two from Kalani Provincial Park in Ontario. Look at this. <laughs> we arrived here a couple of days ago after a really solid pack up at Kalani Outfitters. Canoes on the roof of the boat. All the meals prepped out for the next couple of days. And then we slowly rumbled out of Kalani on Cyclops, the outfitter's boat, with Tom, the pilot at the helm. Tom came to this region about 12 years ago, I think, and intended to stay just for two weeks, and he's still here. It's one of those places. It just slowly draws you in. When Tom dropped us off, we put our packs on. We probably combined got couple of tons of gear, canoes included, and of course food for a couple of days and all of that riffraff. But after 900 meters we set into the water and then began what was a series of lake crossings and then portages, lake crossings, portages, backpacks on, canoes on the head, and then walk a, walk a trail between 900 meters and, and a little less than 200. And then finally that beautiful relief of settling down in the next lake and continuing. The weather was really nice, a little overcast at times, but the sun beat down more often than not. And then we luckily found a beautiful, beautiful campsite right here, nestled in a little creek with our camping ground, some flat spots for the tents and plenty of tree options for the hammock just up away from the water but with some lovely lakeside views and everyone who comes in here on a on a paddling camping trip needs to get a permit to uh, to camp on each lake there's a number of campsites that they can choose from but of course if they're taken already then uh, they have to move on and find something else so luckily we found one in a perfect spot the last couple of days have just been lovely we woke up yesterday morning cooked up a nice bacon and egg breakfast and then began a, a five, six kilometer hike right up to a famous uh, hiking spot called The Crack, which we can see from our campsite. It's not a flat walk, <laughs> constantly up and down, a lot of scrabbling, pulling yourself up over boulders, a few other people out as well, enjoying the experience, but nice to stretch the legs and you know, ease the aching joints from all of the portaging from the day before. One of the best things about uh, carrying all of your gear out into the wild is, you know, a bunch of it is food. So after two days, our next couple of portages on the way back home will be uh, considerably lighter, seeing as we've eaten everything. Oh, it's just been beautiful. It's just been beautifully peaceful here and wildlife everywhere. We've been so, so lucky from sea eagles swooping off the side of the boat as we came in. Uh, we've got little squirrels and chipmunks giving us their regular call up in the trees above our camp. Uh, deer walking along when we paddled out to the hiking start yesterday. We even saw a couple of bears only 40, 50 meters away, hidden behind bushes, big mama, and then a tiny little cute cub with its arms everywhere and big paws. What a treat. A little visitor to camp last night. We thought originally it was an otter, but I don't think it was. Maybe some kind of muskrat or something else. Anyway, it got very close. It didn't seem to be bothered by us. And it, uh, <laughs> it whisked a couple of frogs out of the water double quick and scarfed them down like I hadn't eaten for days just a few feet from us absolutely amazing and then of course we've got our own resident snapping turtle who seems to be very familiar with campers coming in to these parts and then washing up their gear down the bottom of the rock below the campsite <laughs> so let's call him Cedric the snapping turtle was there at all times waiting to catch a morsel. Oh, it's a bit of a shame really that he's been tamed to some degree, uh, but it's still important to remember not to put your fingers too close to that little beak. He will happily take a finger off. 
in pursuit of a good meal. I mean, when we're hungry, we probably all would, wouldn't we? Right, time to pack up, jump back in the canoes, and then go and switch them out for sea kayaks. Another couple of days paddling and camping ahead this time on Georgian Bay. <laughs>